Hello everyone. I want to show you one way of cooking green plantains. So every time I go to the grocery store and I get the plantains, people ask me, how do you cook them? How do you eat them? And that's why I want to show you. I know my friends that speak Spanish, maybe all, all of them already know how to cook plantains, but here in the US, not a lot of people eat plantains. That's why I want to show you one way of eating plantains. And I know you're going to like this way. We have many ways of cooking plantains. You can do, I'm going to do patacones today. And you can do like plantain chips. You can do so many things. You can do empanadas and so many things. But I'm going to show you how to make plantains. Hola Nicole, hola mamita. So this is a plantain, this is a big one. In Ecuador we have smaller ones. We have this kind too, but the smaller ones are better. They taste better. This one, I'm going to peel it first. So you, first you need to cut the two ends like that. And then you're going to do like a line all across like that. And then with the knife, try to like separate the skin and you can do it with your with your hands too like that but sometimes it's hard to do it with the hands and then you can use the knife and if you're watching say hi so I know that you are watching so here I couldn't do it with the hand so I just put the knife again and try to like open it like that some are really easy to peel and some take a little bit Hi Angela. Just like that. And the plantain is good now. And now I am going to cut into pieces like this size. like this like this thick okay and here I have my my fryer ready here and it's already hot okay so I am going to put the plantain here and I'm going to fry it not in really high but maybe like a medium high I'm going to leave it there for a little bit until it gets soft and cooked. Let's see, it's 651. Let's see how long it takes. And you can eat this with, in Ecuador we eat it like with fresh cheese. We can like grate the cheese and eat it on top or you can just eat like pieces like this. Here I cut some pieces. You can do I see a lot of likes, I don't know who's liking, oh my mom, and I don't know who else, maybe Gabriel, <laughs> no hay verde, me dieron ganas de comer patacones, <laughs> yeah, I could find plantains, it's really hard to find the very green plantains, sometimes I go and they don't have any plantains, or sometimes they have a little bit ripe, and I love ripe plantains, but when they are very ripe, if they're very ripe, you can fry them too, like in slices, and it's delicious with fresh cheese. Or you can even put them in the oven and bake them, like whole. You just peel it and put it whole. I like to put some butter and put it there whole, and then I cut it half, like lengthwise, and I put cheese in there. Um, you can eat the patacones with um, like a salsa, or pico de gallo, with fajitas, with anything. I love it with fresh cheese for breakfast. I like with coffee. I like to have my coffee and then my fresh cheese and just the patacones. 
In Colombia, they make it very flat. They smash it with something like a tortilla maker almost. And they, yeah, with salsa de huevo, with egg sauce. My sister-in-law says I love it with egg sauce, but not everyone likes that. I love it like that. I said, uh, Colombian people in Colombia, they do, like, they make it really flat. Today, I'm not going to make it flat. Or maybe I can do one flat and the other ones how I make it. I'm going to use this here, but you can use a cup, anything that is flat. I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use something else to make it flat like they make in Colombia. Maybe, let me see. So far three minutes, maybe maybe four and a half to five minutes. And we just need to wait a little bit <laughs> until they cook. And this is going to be a double fry plantain. You cut it in the pieces like I told you, you fry them for like about five minutes. Then you take them out, you wait a little bit to I can see a lot of lights, so I don't really know who's that one. Maybe Gabriel? I don't know. I can't see. I see a picture, but I don't really know who's watching. Say hi in the comments so I know who's giving me all the likes. Salúdenme en los comentarios para saber quién es que me está mandando todos los likes, porque no más veo una foto, pero no veo quién es. Let me show you. I wish they sold the plantains from Ecuador. They do sell from Ecuador, but they sell. Oh, Gabriel, hola. <laughs> no sabía quién era. No se te ve la cara. Um, sometimes they sell Ecuadorian plantains, but they have the barraganetes. It's called the big ones, like this one. This one is a barraganete, but the smaller ones they call. The seda, I think, like a silk plantain, those are way better. I don't know why, but they taste so much better. When I go to Ecuador, it's different than when I eat it here. I don't know why. You see, el que manda likes. Oh, que bueno. Gracias por tus likes, Gabriel. Maybe they are ready. So right now it's five minutes. We are going to... Maybe I'm going to... Take one and see. This one I'm going to do it with the plate, so you can see. This is a plate, this one has this, so it's not going to be really flat. You just put the plantain there and grab the plate and smash it. And here is the plantain. It's really hot. One second, Kayla, one second. That's milk, yeah. Okay, this is ready. So this one is how they make it in Colombia. We make it like this in Ecuador too. They make it a little bit more flat sometimes in Colombia. And like that is really good too. My husband prefers this way. Like very flat so it's crispy everywhere. But I like it better with something like this that is smaller so it's not going to smash, smash the whole plantain. I'm just waiting here a little bit so all the oil falls. Okay, now I'm going to put them here. Normally you need to wait a little bit for them to cool down a little bit, it's better to smash them. And I'm just going to wait just a little bit so they can cool down just a little bit. 
If they don't pull down, sometimes they can break a little bit, but let's see. So I'm going to use this, something small. I'm going to put it in the middle and just smash right in the middle like that. So they, they are ready. Like that. Like I said, you can eat this with so many things. In Ecuador, we eat this with any food. If we do like chicken stew and rice, that can be on the side. Every time I go to eat like a, a Colombian restaurant, Colombian restaurant, I order patacones. I don't know if you can see. This ones look like a flower now. You see, hola Adam. This one look like a flower. They're not that flat compared to this one. This one is flat. Esta vez bien planito. Este no. Este de aquí es más como una flor. Como que tuviera pétalos acá afuera. I like it this way. A mí me gusta así más que el planito. And because this one, all the sides go more crispy. And I'm going to finish smashing the plantains. Like that. And now I'm going to put them back in the oil. If you're cooking this in the in the stove, you can put the fire a little bit more, like higher, because it was like in medium. Now the second fry has to be a little higher. The I don't know how to say the fire. We say it. the burner. So now they are again back in the fryer, and normally this takes a little bit less than before. The first, uh, the first fry is it takes a little longer, and the second fry is a little bit faster. And you need to watch it so it doesn't burn. Si ¿Sí sabía Sara que hacía los patacones así, <ríe> así me enseñó mi papá a hacerlos y así me gustan. También me gustan cuando son planitos, así como este, y cierto que me olvidé de poner este. I'm going to put that one there too, I forgot. <ríe> But I prefer, me gusta más de la manera que yo los hago porque salen más crocantitos y como que se, uno se llena más, no sé, están como muy flaquitos los otros. Yeah, I love this for breakfast with egg sauce, like an egg soup almost. Me encantan con salsa de huevo para el desayuno. Pero hoy los voy a comer con un poco de queso que ya tengo aquí cortado para enseñarles. Y tengo aquí una ensalada de camarón con aguacate, que también se puede comer así. Y en un ratito vamos a ver en Ali del Vin, yo soy tu güey Ali del Vin. De verdad, Nicole, también. <ríe> así me los enseñó mi papá. Y él le gustaba que yo se los haga siempre porque yo las hacía así como a él le gustaba. Mis hermanos no siempre le hacían igualito, pero yo siempre le hacía como a él le gustaba. I was saying that my dad taught me how to make these patacones the way I smashed them. He taught me how to make them and he loved it when I made them for, the, for him. My brothers could never do it exactly how I did it. <ríe> ¿Y si los haces así, Nicole, o los haces planitos? A Peter no le gustan así tanto como yo los hago. Él prefiere planitos y más planos todavía, como dice el uno. Él los probó en un restaurante colombiano y los hacen, pero bien, pero bien flaquitos. Siempre parecen como una cosa como tortillera, que lo ponen ahí y le aplastan. Pero bien aplastado, que queda casi como un chip. Así le gustan a Peter. Y últimamente ha comido bastante patacón. Le encantan ahorita. My husband loves the plantains. Um, way thinner. He smashed them like really, really like a chip. Well, this one is taking a little longer. I didn't pay attention how long, but no more than five minutes. The second one. Tenía una discusión con Sandra de cómo lo haces. De verdad. Yo les hago planitos así, no sé hacer, pero también puedo hacer de otra manera, solo que la costumbre.
costumbre de hacerlas así. Planos. Oh. Sí, yo los hago de las dos maneras, pero normalmente los hago así como yo. Si son solamente para mí, los hago así. Si son para Peter, ya los hago bien planitos. Decía que plantó y que yo no como. ¿Ah? Decía que plantó y yo que no como flor. No te entendí, Ara. <ríe> no sé qué quieres decir. Tengo una anécdota con los patacones y mi suegro. <ríe> una vez me tocó hacer patacones en su casa y tenía miedo a hacerlo. Casi. Tenía miedo a hacerlos más. <ríe> De verdad. Es que uno siempre quiere, quiere quedar bien con los suegros. Cuando viene mi suegra, pues yo también trato de hacer lo mejor posible. Yo creo que ya están. Voy a agarrar un platito. Y tal vez mucha gente de Ecuador va a decir, oh, ya no sabe cómo hacer patacones. Pero esa es la manera que yo los hago. A mí me gusta de esa manera. Y pues cada quien tiene su propia manera en hacerlos. Y todas las maneras están bien hechas. Pero cada quien tiene su propia manera de cómo le gusta a uno. Pues los patacones maduros también son bien ricos, pero el patacón se ve más rico. So, here are the plantains, the patacones. Let me turn this off. And then you have to put salt. Then you add some salt on top, like that, and mix them. I don't know if you can see. These are the plantains. They are very crispy. Where is the one? This is the one that is flat. It's bigger. They're the same size when they're raw, but this one gets bigger. But this one is like a flower. No sé, es casi como una florcita y eso es más planito. Así lo hacen más en Colombia y también en Ecuador, pero así me gusta a mí. Okay, now you can eat it. Like you can grab this and put a piece of fresh cheese on top, like that, and just eat it. Or you can add any salsa or whatever thing you want. Like here, I'm going to show you. I have this shrimp and avocado salsa. Tengo esta ensalada de camarón y aguacates. And this is a, a good, like, finger food. Like if someone comes to visit you and you want to give them something different, you can do the patacones and then add the shrimp and avocado sauce. Esta es una ensalada de camarones con aguacate. And it's a good aperitivo. If someone comes to visit and you want to do something different, you can do the patacones and put it in a salad of camarones. Or of atún, too, if you don't have camarones. It's very good. You can sprinkle some paprika or cayenne pepper to give some hint of spice. And it's delicious. It's a little hot still. It's a little caliente todavía, por eso no los pruebo, pero son. Super ricos. And again, another piece of cheese, and you just put it on top. And here is the patacones, Ecuadorian style. Normally we eat it with cheese, like I said, or on the side with any food. Like I said, rice with beef stew or chicken stew or whatever thing. If you want me to show you a different way of making plantain, you can tell me too and I can make it a different way. So you can go to Walmart and buy some plantains and try them at home. This is my shrimp. Mm. <laughs> it's delicious with the shrimp. Ensalada, and I threw it everywhere. <laughs> My patacón broke, and it fell everywhere. But it's delicious, so you need to try it. You need to go to Walmart and get 
the greenest plantain you can find and then you can make patacones. It's got a little bit ripe, still good, but it's going to taste a little bit different. No hay en Walmart. <laughs> Ahorita no hay, pero tal vez en estos días ya de llegar. Yo encontré verdes, bien verdecitos, y dije voy a hacer patacones para enseñarles. But like I said, you can do it ripe and it's really good. I have some that I'm leaving outside in the counter so they can get ripe. If they can get really ripe, I can show you another way of making the plantains. Creo que dijo plano. Oh, plano. Decía que plano y yo que no. Oh, ya te entendí. Que el Sandro decía plano y tú creías como una flor. Oh, ok, ya te entendí. Gracias, Gabriel, por <ríe> traducirme. Pero bueno, muchas gracias por mirar. Y si quieren que haga otro video de cómo hacer patacones de una manera diferente, me dicen. Y cuando consiga plátano, pues les hago otro. Aunque sí creo que tengo plátano verde también para hacerla. Así que me comentan si, si quieren ver otra receta. Y muchas gracias por mirar el video. Y por favor, si pueden compartir, compártanlo. Gracias. Bye.